What is up, YouTube? Chris here within Mod We Trust 360. Um, first and foremost, I'd like to apologize for the lack of uploading. I've actually not been able to even get online uh, YouTube or Xbox related in the last couple of months where I'm setting up you know, everything for my college transfer and uh, getting everything ready for the fall semester. Um, in today's tutorial though, I will be showing you guys how to update your RGH or modded uh, Xboxes to the newest dashboard. It is now on kernel 16756. Um, so before we get started with the tutorial, I'm just going to go over here to settings. And I'm going to show you guys that we are on 16.747, which is the previous kernel. Um, so now that I've kind of showed you guys that we are on the 16.747 dashboard, I'm just going to go ahead and boot up XEX menu. If you don't have this installed, then you're way behind on the game. You need to have this installed when doing anything um, on your modded Xbox. So if you don't have that installed, just go to my previous videos, um, go to my channel, click on videos, click search, and type in XEX menu, and there's a tutorial on how to get all that set up. Um, so what you're going to do, just go ahead and boot up XEX menu, click uh, the X button if you uh, need to transfer between, you know, go between hard drives, but as you can see, mine's on hard drive one. So I'm just going to go ahead and go into my applications folder, and this isn't going to look exactly the same for you. This is just how I have it set up. And we're just going to go into Flash 360 and boot that up. So once we're booted up into here, what we need to do, we're backing up the NAND. So we click X and then click A. And as you can see, it is going through the backing up process. Um, we'll just wait for this to complete. And it shouldn't take too long. It's just, you know, dumping the NAND from the console into an actual uh, bin, uh, bin file. So now it says press any button, continue, and then click the back button, and then the back button again. And that'll take you right back to the dashboard. Um, so uh, if you go back into X menu, XEX menu, I'll go ahead and show you guys where the file is located. It should be located in the directory of Flash 360. So it's really wherever you have that stored on your RGH console. So I'm just going to go back into Applications, Flash 360, and as you can see we have Flash DMP.bin. What you need to do now is go ahead and put that on a USB stick, uh, get it onto your computer somehow. Um, I personally use an FTP client or Xbox neighborhood to transfer it over that way I don't have to worry about using an, a USB stick but any of the three works perfect and uh, it'll get the job done so you guys uh, go ahead and switch over to the computer bar of this tutorial and I'll show you guys what to do from there alright guys now that you have the flash DMP dot bin on your computer as you can see I do have it on here on my hard drive what you're going to need to do is download the two files in the description. Um, down there you'll download XE Build, which is the application we're going to use to actually update the dashboard, and you're going to download the new Xbox Live Stealth files. Um, so once you have both of those downloaded, just go ahead and boot up the XE Build application. I've got it here in my modding folder, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that really quick. And uh, I'd recommend right-clicking this and clicking Run as Administrator. Um, usually there's not going to be any, any issues even if you don't run as Administrator. I just do that to, to make sure everything runs as smooth as possible. So as soon as the application opens up, uh, over in the top left corner it says Source File. Just going to click Open. And then as soon as that dialog box opens up, you just click on Desktop or wherever you have the uh, Flash DMP.bin at. And go ahead and open up that, uh, open up that file itself. So as soon as you open up that file, you can see it starts filling in a whole bunch of information. You know, your build type, your motherboard, um, just different things over here. Um, the motherboard, uh, different keys and things like that. Um, so once you do have that, just go ahead and, uh, as you can see at the bottom, the uh, only thing that we're missing is the CPU key. So I'm just going to paste that in now. And as you can see, everything is checked down here. So that means everything is ready to go. Um, over here in the miscellaneous options, make sure you click include dash launch, um, include custom dash launch, dash launch settings, and things like that. That's just going to make sure everything's run smooth, and if there is a new version of dash launch, it'll install automatically. So as you can see, kernel version is 16.756, and just go ahead and click generate hacked image. And as you can see over on the right hand side, it's going through a log, kind of going through everything, and it's going to actually build the new NAND image with the kernel update on the NAND image itself. Um, this uh, in itself shouldn't take too long as you can see it's moving fairly quickly and as you can see it is done and it'll give you these options here usually I click yes to just go ahead and close the program as you know you really don't need it anymore and as you can see we have updflash.bin which is the file we're actually going to upload to our RGH to update our dashboard. So as soon as you've done that just go ahead and go back to where you have your uh, UpD flash. It's going to actually generate that wherever XE build is or your desktop. So make sure you check both areas and it should be in one of those. 
I'm going to go into the Xbox Live Stealth, and this is Xbox Live Stealth for 16756, and then we've got the XEX file. I'm just going to go ahead and drag that onto the desktop for ease of access, and then close that out. Um, now what you need to do, just go ahead and move the updflash.bin to the directory of Flash360, which is on your RGH, and you also need to put Xbox Live Stealth.xex onto the root of the hard drive. Um, to do this, you can you know either use FTP like I use here, you can use Xbox Neighborhood, which is right here, or you can use a USB stick and pull that onto there. Now the connection looked like it closed out, so let me just go ahead and reboot the connection to my RGH. That way um, I have access to that. I'm going to HDD1, and if you scroll down here, as you can see, the Xbox Live Stealth plugin is in here. Just go ahead and drag in the new one. So I'll drop that right there. And then I'm going to go up here to RGH applications which is where my flash 360 is I'm gonna put that up D flash right into there um, shouldn't take too long to transfer I, I highly recommend FTP it's a lot quicker than neighborhood and USB stick I'll probably upload a tutorial not tonight but tomorrow on how to set up FTP so you can actually get that on your RGH and transfer files pretty seamlessly over your wireless network so now that we have all that on there, I can go ahead and close FTP out, and I'll see you guys on the computer part of this tutorial to finish it up. Alright guys, now that we are back on the Xbox part of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what to do from here. Um, so once you have your RGH console booted up again, just go ahead and go into XEX menu. And uh, once you're in XEX menu, click the RB button. This will allow you to view all the files and everything on your console and then go to Flash 360. Again, this is under my Applications folder. It's not going to look like that for you, but uh, just where you have that installed, just go to that directory, and as you can see, we do have the Flash DMP.bin, which is the NAND dump that we did at the beginning of this tutorial, and then we have updflash.bin, which is the hacked image we just generated. So as soon as you do that, just go into Flash 360, and uh, as you can see, we have three options, write updflash to NAND, backup current NAND to file and write update areas of rebooter. Just go ahead and click A and then you want to update uh, uh, upload excuse me the raw flash while keeping the current KV config. So you click A again. It should give you a warning. It says press A to retest or start button to ignore and continue. Just click start and then click start again or I believe A and there we go. Sorry about that guys. It's A on the last option and then it's going to upload the hacked image to your console. So whenever this is done, again, this is not going to take long. Click, click any button to continue, click the back button and the back button to shut down. It'll take about five seconds and then it'll reboot. And once it reboots, I'll just go ahead and show you guys that we are on the newest dashboard. So we just wait for this to go ahead and reboot. Alright guys, now that the console has booted up, as you can see, um, there's no avatars. This means that it did work successfully. Um, the reason this is, it doesn't. when you generate a hacked image, it doesn't download the newest avatar data from Xbox. You actually have to do that when you connect via Xbox Live Stealth, um, Xbox Live Hive, or Xbox Live Sable. Um, so just go over to your settings, go to System, Console Settings, and System Info. And as you can see, we are on the kernel 16.756. So now you'll be able to actually take all your um, games online, you know, do mods, host lobbies, whatever you like doing um, with ease. So you guys, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully it's pretty self-explanatory. If you have any questions, you know, leave comments in the comment section below or send me a private message here on YouTube. So you guys, again, hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.